he is a man on whose shoulders lies the honor and integrity of his nation. He knows that he is the last line of defense and he cannot fail the nation. For him courage is not the absence of fear, rather it is the judgment that something else is more important than fear. He should be able to do what no one can. Think something never thought of and achieve what was thought impossible. He is the commando of the Indian Army. Hello and welcome viewers, you are watching the special presentation of Sunset TV on Commando School, Belgaum, which has produced the fittest and finest commandos who have fought wars and made the country proud. Here you will know everything you wanted to know on what goes into making an Indian Army Commando. So get ready for this speed ride. Commando School Belgaum is one of the premier training institutes of the Indian Army. It is here that the advanced lessons in operations are taught to the fittest and finest soldiers who get enrolled for a 35-day commando course. Part of the junior leader's wing, the commando school is spread over vintage buildings of the British era and imparts training to officers, non-commissioned officers and friendly foreign nations. The commando course is mandatory for all the infantry and mechanized forces. Commando Training School in Belgaum has unprecedented access to arguably the most artist basic military training program in the world. Here they are trained to get comfortable while being uncomfortable. Commando, well, what uh, training is imparted to Indian Army Commando here, uh, it is uh, one of the most prestigious courses for the Indian Army Commando, as well as internationally acclaimed as one of the best. They accept it as one of the best and when they go back to their country, they, they hold this uh, course uh, in the highest esteem, having done other similar courses across the world also. After they arrive at the Commando School in Belgaum, the soldiers of the Indian Army have their minds and bodies tested beyond the limits of endurance as they begin a tough training program that prepares them to become commandos. The extremely rigorous training program prepares the commandos to be always battle ready and successfully undertake missions as special operations, hostage rescue or counter-terrorism operations. They exhibit sturdiness, discipline and determination. The drill aims to validate the battle readiness, operational effectiveness and deep strike offensive capabilities. No two situations in life or war can be similar. So it's all about how extreme a commando's body and mind can handle. In the battle obstacle course, every commando has to negotiate 22 obstacles in stipulated time, carrying a load of 3.5 kgs and his personal weapon. If a soldier can't complete the obstacles in 18 minutes and 30 seconds, he fails this test. To be fit to serve as an instructor at the wing, a student has to complete the obstacle course in 14 minutes and 30 seconds. Commando is reporting here on the first day. It is difficult for him to imagine that on the final day, that is 34th day, he will be able to even pass his 40 km also with 18 kgs of weight and uh, 5 kgs of rifle. So that uh, process is gradually built up. 
like initially every week like in the first week 10 kilometers route march then in the second week 20 kilometers route march then in the third week 30 kilometers route march likewise his uh, physical endurance is also build up and probably when he comes in the initially he is not able to recognize that my body can take on withstand this kind of stress and strain but it is when he is put under i would call commando machine a commando wing as a forging machinery when the commando is put inside that under a lot of stress and strain of the instructors and he undergoes the rigors of the commando course and which makes him tough and finally in the final week he is able to clear all his physical tests which include strength in his upper body as well as the endurance which makes him pass the 40 km test also the commando is made to do all things which he hasn't done before no plans are known to anyone they are driven to the limits their body mind and soul can take it's all about romancing dangers and risks the training is to enhance the endurance confidence and knowledge levels of a soldier that he gets a complete insight of special mission and covert operations specialized skills like deep sea diving underwater operations demolition expertise cliff climbing camouflage and concealment techniques explosive handling unarmed combat weapon and navigation skills like finding your way by reading the stars are all taught as part of the special mission training to enhance the combat edge small teams are formed and sent to jungles and varied kinds of terrains they are given valuable survival tips in hostile conditions after undergoing the rigors of this course a commando with high physical standard mental robustness and equipped with special skill of rock craft and demolition aspects differentiate himself from others mental robustness is more important than physical strength because a commando must perform against every odd without caring for physical fatigue maintain surprise and accomplish the task In cliff climbing, the army commando conquers 60 feet in 60 seconds. Yes, you heard that. 60 feet in 60 seconds. Steep cliffs and high ridge mountains are major obstacles. Many military establishments like formation headquarters, anti-aircraft guns and radar stations are built on cliffs. In cliff climbing commandos are trained in various techniques of climbing casualty evacuation and rappelling so that they are able to apply this training once they are operating in these difficult terrains Commandos have to operate against these kind of targets here in commando school at cliff climbing area we train the commandos in cliff climbing and mountaineering techniques so that if this these kind of obstacles come to them in future they are able to operate the commandos are taught to be tech savvy and should be able to use every latest gadget at their disposal to their benefit he may have to direct laser guided bombs onto targets that can otherwise not be destroyed by other explosives the commandos are trained in demolition chemical biological radiological and nuclear warfare Demolition is important to destroy military targets during raids across enemy lines. The commandos are given adequate exposure to ambidextrous firing and explosive handling. When commandos have to conduct the raid across enemy lines, they have to enter enemy territory and they are supposed to destroy some of the strategic targets in the enemy territory. So to destroy such kind of targets, they are having only two things. One is the small arms, the other things are the support weapons. and to carry out the destruction physical destruction of these targets it is in suffice so they have to deal with the explosive we at commando wing give them exposure to deal with the explosives and to conduct destruction in a manner which is 100% and full proof riverine crossing drills are a must for commandos as they encounter water obstacles and to negotiate them they must know various techniques to overcome them and cross them every commando must have the ability to move across such water obstacles without compromising the need of stealth battle readiness 
by blending into environment with boats or fixed ropes. The water bodies at almost all locations all along our borders. It is imperative for a commander to know how to negotiate any water obstacle with stealth to execute his special mission so as to not give away his motive to the enemy. Commandos are trained in combat shooting to utilize the firing practices in actual combat situations. Different shooting techniques are taught. While firing skills mark the foundation for any soldier, it is his expertise that graduates him into being a commando. A larger diverse country like ours comes with multiple security concerns, requiring evolution and modification in the drills. Along with latest technology, gadgets and weapons, in unarmed combat, commandos are also trained to tackle and utilize the enemy without weapons. Physical combat readiness of military personnel ensures maximal effectiveness of combat forces during wartime. Combat readiness has always been intrinsically linked to the physical fitness of a soldier. Although technology has changed the nature of conflict over the years, physical fitness remains an important component in the effectiveness of every soldier of the Indian Army. Commandos are trained in martial art techniques to defend against armed and unarmed enemies. A commando is made aware of sensitive and pressure points in a human body, essential to injure or even kill the enemy. Perhaps the most audacious part of the course is the confidence exercise called the Lido Jump. Here a commando has to walk on a wooden plank, 24 inches wide and 40 feet long, 50 feet above a water tank and negotiate two flights of stairs. What's on the menu? Well, that's not a luxury a commando enjoys. He has no option but to survive on the flora and fauna available. At this dem demonstration, I'll be showing you how to handle a venomous snake. Before I show the demonstration of venomous snake, I want to tell that the snakes kept in the commando wing are kept in their natural states. Neither their venom glands nor their fangs are removed. So the snake found in the pit are as harmful as the snake which can be found in the wild. It's here that the advanced lessons in special operations are taught to the fittest and finest soldiers who get enrolled for a 35-day commando course. Every commando has to be a man with nerves of steel and an attitude to keep going at the toughest point. The limits of the human brain and body are stretched to their breaking point so that they get used to working with a fatigued body and an exhausted mind to deliver their best. As the training gains momentum, 
a new reality dawns and the fight to survive for one more day takes hold. The foremost quality of a commando is steadfast willpower. The instructors break the biological and sleep cycles. हम किसी भी स्पेशल मिशन को अंजाम देने से पहले रेखी करते हैं रेखी के लिए हम सबसे पहले जगह का चुनाव करते हैं और वहाँ से सर्वेलेंस लगातार करते हैं इसी प्रकार से हम हाइट को चुनते हैं जो हाइट तीन प्रकार का होता है सर्फेस हाइट सब सब सर्फेस और सर्फेस हस्ती हाइट इसी प्रकार से हम जगह को चुनाव करते हैं और लगातार खबर पीछे देते हैं द कमांडो स्कूल ट्रेनिंग ऑफ सोल्जर्स फ्रॉम फ्रेंडली फॉरन कंट्रीज फॉर दिस कॉस I'm Commander Mehdi from Bangladesh. It is an unique opportunity for me getting the chance to undergo this unique training in Commando Wing Belgaum, which is one of the most prestigious commando training institutions in the world. Commando Namgit Singh from Royal Bhutan Army. Commando the world itself is very prestigious and it is in fact an honor for me to come here and undergo commando training in one of the most prestigious and hardest training institute in India. I am Commando Samir Hedrad from Sri Lanka Army. Among a lot of officers, this is a very hand-picked opportunity in my life. And after I reached here, uh, we met so many foreign officers and we share our experience as well. So I uh, came to here to learn from so many new ta tactics as well as techniques from this prestigious place. The combat skills they acquire make the difference between life and death while operating on commando missions behind enemy lines. One of the tenets of the commando is live to fight another day. Every soldier who arrives at the commando wing in Belgaum is prepared to face a worst case scenario. That is the best preparation. A commando has to fight to survive and survive to win. He can never afford to lose. Commandos are constantly reminded that tough times don't last, but tough people do. With that thought-provoking message, with camera persons Jitendra Negi, Ajindra Kumar, and camera assistant Pradeep Kumar, I'm Kriti Mishra signing off from Bihar.